Welcome back to the build series, you kooks. In this module, we are going to be covering insulation, all the tools that you need to get your van insulated. We're gonna keep it easy, simple. This is gonna be one of the easier steps in the van build, so be sure to enjoy it. Today, we are doing insulation, and if you've ever watched a Van Kooks build series, we love Thinsulate and we love Reflectix because it is mess-free, it's basically like cut and paste, and we're gonna have this job done in no time. So the things that you'll need for this are some scissors. We don't know which ones are the best, so we got a couple to work with. And you'll definitely want some protective stuff like uh, my mask and some glasses. You'll need some contact adhesive, the 3M90. And then you'll need some rolls of Reflectix and you'll need some Thinsulate. And we'll put whatever you need in the instruction. And you need measuring tape so that you can measure and then cut what you need. And what we've done is we've done a couple measurements here. We wanted to see which way is the best that we don't have any waste. So it's 60 across, so we noticed that we have 40 and 20. So we're gonna go ahead and work with those right now. And we're gonna get started. Let's do it, guys. So this here is the 3M. It's actually made for acoustic insulation, but van lifers have really took off with this product and use it for insulating pans, RVs, um, tiny homes, travel trailers, anything basically portable. It's a great product. It actually does an amazing job at wicking away moisture. It does expand quite a bit. So it looks thin here, but it does puff out a bit. And also we've used the uh, foam poly ISO board and we've also used the spray foam. We've used all the ways to insulate your van. And we find that this Thinsulate is hands down the easiest. It might be a little more expensive, but it's a faster job and the ease of doing it makes it worth it. And one thing I wanna stress is people are always talking about van insulation and what's better and what's not. Basically in the van, you're subject to very hot weather and very cold weather, and your insulation's really not gonna help you in those instances. We've had the Thinsulate insulation in our van for over four years now. We find it does a great job we also add the Reflectix for a vapor barrier. I know everyone online is going to argue about the Reflectix giving a R value. It will give us some R value. We'll show you how to create an air gap with our framing on top of the Reflectix to improve that R value. But really the Reflectix is a great vapor barrier. And for the price, you can't really beat it. We wrap the whole van in Reflectix. We'll show you how we do that. But we're going to get into cutting and pasting this Thinsulate. That's basically what it is. And if you guys are watching this build series, you're going to be glad you went with 3M Thinsulate. It's a great product. It does a great job with moisture. And I can't recommend it more. Yeah, we've also had a leak with our fan. Um, we had tried to replace the fan and then we didn't lap seal it enough the second time when we put it back in uh, and basically the fan leaked a bit and there was nothing like the the thin slit held up so well it like wicked away the moisture it didn't hold on to any of the moisture and that's like something that you really really want to be mindful of in the van you don't want some kind of fungal like environment going on in there because you're going to be living in there breathing all that air and you don't want to breathe anything like that in there yeah, you don't want black mold or toxic mold exposure. But yeah, there's a lot of people out there that think they know, but we've been living in vans for a long time and this is the best. I'm telling you, we've used it all. You can argue and use your foam board and make the biggest mess in the world, but you'll be happy you chose this. So we're gonna get into it, enough talking and like, let's show you how fast we do this. Yeah, it's probably gonna be more talking than doing. So a great way to expedite the insulation process is if there's two of you, or even if it's just you, get a piece of paper and write your measurements out. If, you're, if you have like a cut list for all your thin slit, you can make this job so much faster. So right now we already have some dimensions. We're gonna cut and it usually goes Danny cuts and I paste and we're gonna get going. I'm gonna show you a time lapse here and then I'll show you some workarounds when we get into the hard areas. Step one, measure 45 inches. 34. 
All right, so basically the first measurement that we have is 98. So I measured 98 here and on that side. And what I do is I cut a straight line and then I keep folding it so that I could keep a straight line going all the way across. And that just makes it easier. You can, you can put lines all the way across. We did there, but that was a little off. So we're gonna go with our 98 here. Yeah, and then you just fold it like she said and you use it for your straight edge. This stuff's hard to cut, so make sure you have good scissors. And then you'll get a nice straight cut. And Once you're done with step one, you'll have all of the measurements that you took in step one on a cut list. That makes it a lot faster, so then you can just start cutting and pasting where it goes. Once you have your measurements, it's time to start marking your, where you need to cut. So we just have like a straight edge. We go across a couple times. Now that you have your cut line marked, it's time to just get your arts and crafts on and cut that line. Next step, after you have it cut out, you shove it into the cavity that it goes to. So Danny's just running this piece of thin slit through these tough cavities. That it, this is a lot of the job. It's, this is probably the most annoying part of the job is kind of fishing this pencil it through these cavities. So if you got small hands, you're going to have a lot better luck at this part of the job. All right, so now we're going to hit it with this 3M spray, this contact adhesive 90, 3M 90. You can order this on Amazon or find it at Home Depot. It is very toxic, so the VOCs on this thing are out of control. So these are N95 masks. You'll definitely be wanting to wear a mask spraying this stuff in a closed environment. Yeah, Danny says that the VOCs are only toxic when you can smell it. So if you can smell it, it's toxic. So keep that mask on. And basically we're just gonna spray the wall down and then we are going to stick the thinsel it to it. So this is the next step. You glue it so it'll stay put. Glue it. All right, so when you're doing this, I like to get a corner up if I'm doing it by myself. You have to have, since you're spraying up, you want glasses and you definitely want your mask because it's most volatile when you can, the VOCs are most volatile when you can smell it. So I just get a little bit going with the glue. So I'm going to throw some insulation here inside this curve. And a lot of these vans, I already popped them off. They're just held on by these little body clips. Just be careful when you pop them down because they'll break, but just pop them off. The Transit just has three there. And now that I got those off, I can really pry it down and shove this insulation in there. All right, now we're gonna work on getting these uh, panels off. You've probably already popped a few off, but we don't wanna damage the clips here. So I got this little tool. You could probably use a flathead screwdriver, but this thing works great. And basically you just get in here, try not to scratch the door, pop it off. And then when you see when it's popped off, there's just a little plastic clip in there. But if you rip it off, they tend to break off the plastic. So if you want to keep this preserved, cause that'd be a very difficult cut just get a tool or a flathead screwdriver in every spot that they are and then you're just popping them off and just ease it off. Don't rush it because you'll break them and then you'll have to buy new clips. Pop them all off, you'll just pull it off. I like how it's got this speaker hole but no speaker. It's not the premium upgrade. So then you just keep all these. I was gonna show you something else. All these pieces you take out you do want to keep them. So all these come in handy when it's time to cut stencils to put wood back onto the van. Otherwise, if you don't have these, you're going to have to make some cardboard stencils 
but keeping these pieces is gonna save you a lot of time. So keep everything that comes off. You probably will end up tracing it. We got the all-star Danny, the master cutter and fitter. I don't know what you call it, but <laughs> she's the cut and paste master. Puzzle. So you guys need your van converted. You know, Van Kooks Customs has the best thinsulate. Fitter. Fitter. <laughs> Thinsulate Tetris machine. Kevin says that because I like to make sure that it's all one piece. So I'll cut around a lot of like the rib parts because if it's all one piece, it has less of a chance of sliding down over time. And you don't want all of your insulation down at the bottom of your van. So basically one piece holds it around these rib pieces and holds it in place on top of your 90 um, 3M stuff. And we are getting it done folks. So. I'll just kind of show you how it's looking in here. So the one nice thing about the transit is it has these massive pieces. So, I mean, we just threw one big piece of thin slit on there and we don't have to deal with all the crevices. Also, the transit has a very thick, deep cavity here, which is kind of nice when we start framing, we won't have to worry about daylighting screws through the back, but it is it is kind of a bit of lost space you can see it's quite a big lip here but yeah we're just working all these pieces in danny's been gluing them up we got them all in here we even got it in here so it's looking good and i can't recommend doing this thin slit enough like it's already a hot day and you can feel the heat in here and once we put this reflectix over it's gonna actually trap a lot of that heat in that cavity because air is a great insulator and we're gonna need all the insulation we can get and we have lots of space to hold that air so we're gonna show you next step we're gonna lay the thin slit all the way across and we're just gonna make a nice vapor barrier and it almost will act as a thermal barrier as well so we're gonna get at that soon and we're making great progress today. And we left one piece off because we're still playing Tetris on the roof. But yeah, if I touch this metal, it's pretty hot. Like it's hot, it's like there's definitely a thermal bridge. But then when I touch this thin slit where the, I can't even feel any heat. So the thin slit is definitely working. When I feel underneath, I can feel that metal that thermal bridge coming off the metal yeah it's amazing how well this actually works so here i'm not feeling any heat and then once we lay that reflectix over we'll also create an air gap with our frame and you're going to have a van that's going to have less thermal bridges and it's going to have a nice vapor barrier it's going to have a nice seal this is easily on our opinion, the best and easiest way to insulate a van. People might want to argue in the comments, but we've done it all. But we live in the vans and we've done all the ways. And this insulation definitely is, keeps us warm, keeps us cold. When you get to the extremes, you can't really do anything. We are installing two roof fans here. So this van will have two roof fans. The other one might go here as we try to Tetris the roof. But yeah, we're going to have nice climate control in this van and we're going to go over the top on the insulation. So stay tuned. we got a few more pieces of thin slit to lay and then we're going to jump into our reflectix. Boom. Boom. See, look how good that looks. Yeah, so what I'm saying is like this will hold up this whole big piece here. So I just cut this direction and that direction and down so that it can go around that piece and stay So another question about the insulation is the floor. We don't do the thin slit on the floor. The thin slit's just pretty expensive and if we did the floor, we need a whole nother roll. We do use Reflectix, so we're gonna 
pull this floor out and we're going to trace it with our reflectix and we're going to have it kind of hang off the edges and we'll show you how we wrap the whole van in reflectix we might even end up adding a, a plywood subfloor to the front part of the van since this is just going to be a bed i think a subfloor from here to there will will be mandatory so we're going to cut one of those later i'm really excited with our progress so now i'm working on getting this insulation through these uh roof ribs i just have this like wire i made it's got a little hook on the end and what i do with this and then i get it out here and i just fold this and i just hook it on there and it holds it just enough and then i pull it through And then it just pulls through. So I got it through, and then I just kind of use this, and I just push it through a little more. I got this uh, Ames um, temperature gun thingy, and I'm gonna check the temperature of the roof where we're getting some thermal bridging and then i'm going to check here where i got the thin slit just to show you the difference everyone's always fighting in the comments so no insulation here we got 116 degrees on that metal so we're getting quite a bit of thermal bridging on the metal here step it back to where we got the thin slit it's it's reading at 94 so that's 20 degree difference plus the insulation is doing something like there it is on the metal 106 and then when you just bring it over to here it drops down quite a bit i just wanted to show you guys that okay so we're gonna shoot this wall here and then we're gonna add a whole nother piece to this wall and we're going to see how much of a difference it makes. We're getting some direct sun. It's actually a pretty hot day, so this is a great day to test it. So the wall is reading about 92, about 92 degrees. So then we're going to come back. I'm going to lay another piece in because we have extra. And then we're going to get another test. Okay, so we added a whole new layer of thin slit on this big panel here. And last reading was 92, it was just a few minutes ago. So we've dropped a few degrees. Not as much as I was expecting, but... It just went on, maybe it... All right, we are all done insulating the van. It's looking great. And I showed you those results on how much better it is. Now the next step is we start our Reflectix wrap. And we're gonna start with the floor. So Danny's cleaning the floor. We're gonna pull it out and we'll probably pressure wash it. And then we'll trace the reflectix onto the existing floor. And then we'll lay it down and then we'll lay the floor back down. I got the floor laid on the reflectix. As you saw on the time-lapse, I just cut it all out like a nice stencil. And now I'm gonna take the floor off and I'm gonna throw the reflectix down on the floor of the van. And it should be perfect. All right, it fits perfect. It looks a little wavy, but I haven't flattened it all down. So now I'm gonna do the wheel wells, and then I'm gonna start hitting these walls. We got the floor in, it's looking great. Now we're gonna start hitting those walls. I got my lovely van assistant, and we're gonna take care of business. All right, so now that we have all the insulation in, it's time to move on to the Reflectix. You can see that we already got a little bit done, but we wanted to let you guys know what kind of tools you needed. You'll need some uh, tape. This one has the, the uh, backing on the back, and we'll tell you exactly what it's called. It's in like the ducting section, like the air conditioning section of Home Depot. And you'll need your masks again. You'll need some good scissors and you'll need some spray adhesive. They were out of the 3M spray adhesive, so we are using the Gorilla. It should be exactly the same. It's just as easy as the Thinsulate. All you do is cut and paste. So let's get into it, guys. 
So what we do is we cut these uh, reflectix. We just run them along the whole side here. This is gonna be our vapor barrier. And it also gives us a little bit of R value and it also provides a little thermal protection as well from that heat coming off the van. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray the 3M spray and we're gonna attach this. Then we're gonna use the uh, tape like we have here, this duct tape. And we're gonna just tape everything up so everything's airtight and we have a nice tight vapor barrier and we've got a time lapse going here so I'll show you how we kind of do this but this is kind of how we've been doing it when we frame on top of it that'll give us the space that you need that everyone says that you need with the uh, reflectix yeah it'll give us an air gap yeah, and also gap. we'll have some air gaps kind of back behind this so these transits actually give you a lot of air gaps so we're gonna spray it down and then we're gonna show you what it looks like I'm about to put the floor back in I just wanted to show you before you put the floor back in, I like to just seal off my vapor barrier here. So I got it all taped along all the edges and you can just see it along there. So then it's all sealed and now I'm just going to put my floor on top. Once you cut and paste, the next step is to use this. Uh, we're using this Nashua 32-4A premium foil tape and we're just sealing all our edges off with it. So it just helps with the vapor barrier so everything's just watertight. So we just run it along and it's a very easy process. It's like you're back in elementary school. So we're about done and got a few more spots to go but it's coming along nicely. It's about to be too hot in here so we might have to move on to a new project. All right, we're back with the heat gun test. So we can test our wall here with just the reflectix. It's looking like it's around, what's it doing? 87, 87.8, 88. All right, about 88 degrees. Now let's go to where we got our wall. And you can see there's quite a difference in the temperature there. I actually think that's the reflectix there and the air gap between the wall and the uh, insulation there. And then the ceiling, if you remember, it was it's a very hot day today. So let's see what we're reading on the ceiling. 84, if you can remember last time it was in the 90s. So this van insulation is definitely doing something because otherwise they would say it's about 100 degrees so this thing's pretty cool just kind of wanted to share that with you guys it's a hot day it's too hot for november i'll tell you that much and we're just waiting on our potatoes to be done with the instant pot and we're about to eat and danny's got her cool hat i got my america hat oh yeah found it Found America, you guys. It might get back to normal soon. Danny found America. The build is coming along nicely. We got our Reflectix, our Thinsulate in there. You can see I'm standing in the discotheque here. We got vapor thermal barrier. We love doing it this way. I know you guys are gonna fight with me in the comments and talk about physics and all this other nonsense, but this is the way we do it. It's easy, it's mess free. Like I've always said, it's going to be cold if it's harsh conditions. It's going to be hot if it's hot out. So I showed you those thermal readings on the heat gun. It's not hot enough today to test it again. Maybe I'll show you when we get the walls in. But it's looking really nice. We're going to jump into framing. And I know we always get questions on how to frame the van and get the walls on. So we're going to show you guys that in the next video. And just for now, I just kind of maybe we'll wrap this video up on our progress on this build so always like and subscribe and if you are looking for a complete DIY van build guide check out our website we're offering a discount for anyone who pre-orders so the link will be in the description and click that description sign up and then once we're ready we will send you an email and you will go ahead and get that discount for being a early 
kook on the build series so thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time and we will be working with some wood some saws and we will be getting these walls on Thank you.